blue buff. Yeah, and I mean, going back on to what we were deciding here, the fights just constantly keep going, T-Rex. Yeah, they do keep going. Luffy brought very low, but a cult altar helps help him survive. Galaxy into the backside. Does pick up Luffy. Yuna gets the kill. Joy Bosch also on the run in the orange buff jungle. Able to flicker away and escape. But a big fatal links. This is bad. Ashley down. Kid very low as well. And the chase is on. Galaxy taking out Joy Bosch. And Kid will be next. Ashley all alone now up against five members of Vendetta. How much will they take with this push? So the, the one thing that I'm not seeing by TFB is that I'm able to excel. Kid able to get away with that, but Shiki flickers oh! in, does get the finish, pops the black shoes to get out safely. We're here, Theo though, with the flicker backwards, and the Numenon Blast, a nice play onto Gina there. Gina does use the sprint, may not be able to get away from this. Galaxy oh. dives in, able to get the kill. Joy Bosch standing still. Just holding yeah. out to the absolute very end and buying enough time for the top lane to go away of the dragon. Yeah, nice way of the dragon. Theo deleted. Kid picks up that kill. So not doing a horrible job, but Galaxy oh. finds Kid with the falling star moon. Colt Alter comes a little bit too late. Joy Baj does get the knockup, but they are diving in hard because the Colt Alter then comes from Shiki. Gina forced to back off. Last insanity comes in. Joy Baj will go down. Two down for the side of Team First Blood. One down for Vendetta in a tower as well. Location. Look at Basics location. They're ready for the flank. Look, there's oh, Wild Guard. Oh, and Zia gets knocked up. Able to get away from that. Time Journey does come out. Manon's Fury to knock everyone up by a bit of time for this Colt Altar. But it does not matter. Gauss Cutie going to get melted down. He actually comes in with the Fallen Star Moon with the Heavy Spin. Averts it all. Zia pinned to the wall and taken out. Shen now using Rashi the... putting some damage on Hoon in the top side. Able to get the passive. Hoon brought down pretty low. But Tarzan tries to move in onto Zane there. Tona's Welcome comes out. Uh... Zane does get the turtle. But he is going to get spin against the wall. Gauss Cutie with the Heavy Spin. This could be bad for Zane. Zane does go down. Tarzan picks up the kill, so he pays with his life for the first turtle of the game, and Ackerman comes out on top. All of the lanes are synced in a conceal play. Yeah, the conceal play does come in. A nice pull, though. On to Sharp, and in comes Zane. Heavy spin. Luckily, the time journey does come out, and Colt Alter may have been used a little bit too early there. Lord still trying to come, but a huge five-man knockup. All members are deleted instantaneously. Urashi back at the base, and the base goes down. The Valley take game two, game three in a flashy manner. Gals Cutie also coming in. Zane trying to make the move here now. Gals Cutie does have the heavy spin. We just gotta wait for it. Waiting for the possible knockup. They're gonna zone onto Zane. Detona's welcome. Catches nothing. Zane back in. Will get pinned, but Gals Cutie goes down. Tarzan takes the Lord, but Gals Cutie falls. It's five members still up on the side of the valley, and now they're moving in. Shen will be next along with Zia. Main Hoon finds him. This is a huge wipe for the side of Ackerman. Tarzan all alone. And it's a five man wipe. 40 second death counters on the board. Can the valley? finish this game here. The tower goes down. Uh. I don't think Ackerman can finish this. The emotes are coming out. Zane, Shark have moved in. Immortality pops, but there's nothing Ackerman can do. The Valley take game three with a quick finish at 17 minutes.